सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए In the month of April 2020, NASA had reported its observation of a mix of X-ray and radio signals never seen before in the Milky Way galaxy. This signal, called FRB, found in April inside the Milky Way galaxy, was for the very first time. Recently, on November 4, three papers in the journal Nature were published reporting the detection of the phenomenon called FRB. In today's edition of our DNS, we will talk about FRB. and why is the observation significant firstly we'll understand how was the simultaneous burst discovered in the milky way galaxy the x-ray portion of the simultaneous burst was detected by several satellites including nasa's wind mission the radio component was discovered by the canadian hydrogen intensity mapping experiment it is a radio telescope located at the dominion radio astrophysical observatory in british columbia along with that a nasa funded project called survey of transient Astronomical radio emission 2 also detected the radio burst seen. Stair 2 is operated by Caltech and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, and the team behind it determined that the burst energy was comparable to FRBs. So now, what are FRBs? FRBs are the bright burst of radio waves. Its duration lies in the millisecond scale. It is because of this reason difficult to detect them and determine their position in the sky. The first ever FRB was discovered in the year 2007. It is since then scientists have been working for finding the source of their origin. Their short-lived nature makes it very challenging to detect them and to track their position in the sky. The FRB detected in April has its source in the Milky Way galaxy. It is a very powerful magnetic neutron star referred to as Magnetar, also known as SGR 1935 plus 2154 or SGR 1935. It is located in the constellation Vulpecula, which is estimated to be between 14,000 to 41,000 light years away. The FRB was part of one of the magnetar's most prolific flare-ups, with the X-ray burst lasting less than a second. The radio burst, on the other hand, lasted for a thousandth of a second and was thousand times brighter. than any other radio emissions from magnetars seen in the milky way earlier this flare up lasted for hours and was picked up by nasa's fermi gamma ray space telescope and nasa's neutron star interior composition explorer what are magnetars magnetars are known to produce jets of gamma rays and x rays which also last for milliseconds and carry a huge burst of energy according to nasa a magnetar is a neutron star the magnetic field of such a star is very powerful full which can be over 10 trillion times stronger than a refrigerator magnet and up to a thousand times stronger than a typical neutron star neutron stars are formed when the core of a massive star undergoes gravitational collapse when it reaches the end of its life this results in the matter being so tightly packed that even a sugar cube size amount of material taken from such a star weighs more than 1 billion tons magnetars are a subclass of these neutrons and occasionally release flares with more energy in a fraction of a second than the sun is capable of emitting in 10 of thousands of years in the case of sgr 1935 the x ray portion of the simultaneous burst it released in april carried as much energy as the sun produces in a month why is the observation significant till now there have been several theories trying to explain the possible sources of an frb until april this year scientists did not have any evidence to indicate that frbs could be blasted out of magnetar therefore this makes the observation specially significant as per nasa the observations strongly suggest that sgr 1935 produced the milky way's equivalent of an frb this means magnetars in other galaxies likely produce at least some of these signals researchers will continue to look for an frb outside the milky way galaxy that coincides with an x-ray burst from the same source 